Hi guys, uh, just a quick update for you about the DirectX renderer which we announced um, a little over a week ago that we have now got a pre-release of the DirectX render surface as part of the SciChart um, libraries and um, also if you haven't seen it already we are now updating our libraries via NuGet so we'll have major releases still on the website but the, the, the hot fixes and bug fixes are going in here. Now we had some feedback from everyone about the DirectX renderer and one of the pieces of feedback was that basically on a large monitor it was slow and there was some flicker as you can see here when when the when the thing resizes it tends to flicker quite badly I'll just run that again so you can see it. So here we have the DirectX renderer and this is a 1900 by 1200 monitor so it's fairly large. Um, I do actually have two of these but I didn't want to stretch it and, and make the video look bad. Um, when I run this DirectX performance demo this is build 4549 which is the current release. You'll see that we top out at about 30 FPS dropping quite quickly into the mid 20s and we've got this flicker. So that's the current version. Now what we have identified is that we had an inefficiency in how we were downloading the texture um, from graphics memory to the screen. We were actually load pulling it back into CPU memory and then loading it back which is slow and one of our customers pointed out that we should be doing a different method which we've now implemented. So this is the same demo in our current build. Just one moment and let me recreate the same set of circumstances, switch to DirectX Renderer and start it. So we're now operating at 40, 35 FPS. If you recall the other one was topping out at 30 and it was quickly dropping into the mid 20s. So we're looking at about a 30% performance improvement off the bat just by uh, this new method of downloading the texture. And the flicker is also gone. So when the chart moves it doesn't flicker anymore. Now some of you have pointed out that, hang on a minute, the DirectX renderer is actually no quicker than the software renderer. So if I change back to software and, and run this again, look, I mean, I'm still getting 35 frames per second. I mean, it's no faster. So why, why are you developing this? Well, the answer is, is that the DirectX renderer is constrained, um, removes the constraint, sorry, of drawing to the screen. So if I stick this on 5 stroke thickness on the high speed renderer, so I've got the software renderer with a stroke thickness of 5 and I run the performance demo again. You'll see that I very quickly get constrained uh, by drawing pixels to the screen. We're, we're now at about 12 FPS. Yep. Whereas the same test performed on DirectX, it's not constrained at all. So the speed is the same for stroke thickness 5 as it is for stroke thickness 1. Basically, the DirectX render surface is not constrained by the number of pixels that are drawn to the screen. It, it, uh, it removes that uh, bottleneck. So basically, you can draw different types of charts with a DirectX renderer than you can with the software renderer. If you imagine a, um, let's take one of our examples over here. So we've got this ghosted traces example. So imagine this uh, example, imagine if this was a lot more compressed, so um, just to give you a sort of a visual aid, say we had it, I don't know, something like that, and very, very dense. Now the software renderer would actually suffer with this because it's many pixels being drawn to the screen, whereas the DirectX renderer doesn't suffer at all. And also the transparency is much better. Let's have a look at the, at the high speed. So this is the high speed and you can see that the transparency is really poor and that's how it gets its speed. And we have a high quality software renderer but it's a little bit slower. But the DirectX is now giving a speed comparable to or faster than the high speed and the same quality as the high quality. Also there's a lot further we can go on this guys. We're, we're still working on uh, improving it and we appreciate your feedback. Any comments, suggestions, feedback, criticisms, whatever, let us know. Um, we like to improve the product and make it work for you guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.